everyone. It's Evelyn. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today's video is going to be yet another unboxing because I can't help myself. I recently placed a large order thanks in part to an AGI dear who shared their rewards with me for the month. Uh, so I got some Claudie outfits and I like these three in particular because they are her more casual outfits. The ones that she's had in her collection for a while are a bit more fancy and I'm excited for her to just have something to wear other than um, her meat outfit and modern clothes. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. First, I'm opening Claudie's yellow bloom pajamas, which retail for $36. These are a little bit pricier than some other American Girl pajamas, but they do have an extra accessory, which is the bonnet that other AG pajamas don't have. Usually you just have pants, top, and slippers. So these pajamas in particular are beautiful. We've got a pastel yellow jumpsuit with these pastel purple roses all over. We've got some ruffled sleeves, a cinched waist, and a little belt on the front. I'm not a huge fan of the fabric. It is not the best material that I've ever seen, but it is cute. It's kind of like a just regular old cotton without stretch, if that makes any sense. This button does not seem to open, even though it looks like it's going to, but I don't think that you need that to open, so I think it's fine. The legs have this little elastic at the bottom, so that's a nice cute detail. My favorite part is, of course, the bonnet. Now, for me, as someone who has straight hair, I don't need to consider how sleep is going to affect my hair as much as Claudie would. Claudie has beautiful ringlet curls and textured hair, so this bonnet is going to give her the ability to protect her hairstyle and protect her curls while she sleeps. Next, we've got these bunny slippers, which are really adorable. I think that those are such a classic shoe, and I think that they go well with pretty much any pajama that you could think of. So they're classic. They're cute. Here is the little pamphlet that comes with the pajamas. You can go ahead and pause to read it if you'd like. Overall, I'm very happy with these pajamas, and even though I think that the fabric could be a little bit better, maybe not so thin and not so rigid, I love the bonnet. The material on that is so silky and wonderful. This color in particular looks amazing on Claudie's deep, rich skin tone, and the purple goes really well with the yellow as well. The bunny slippers you can use for anybody. They are so adorable, and I would highly recommend these if you've been eyeing them. Next, I'm opening Claudie's travel outfit, which retails for $34. That's actually $2 cheaper than her pajamas, so I do feel like this set is a better value for sure. This one in particular is exciting because American Girl actually listened to us and released some new Claudie items, new things for her collection. I do wish that they would market her the same way that they market the Hoffman twins, and hopefully we'll get there one day. But for now, I am excited to see them releasing more things for her. And of course, I am going to show them support by purchasing these directly from American Girl. This one's a great one to get too because you get some good basics. Those boots are nice classic brown and they have real shoelaces. And then you have this lovely wicker hat. It's got a great shape to it. We've got this navy ribbon that's sewn onto it so it matches and coordinates with her dress. It is a color but it's still neutral enough to where it could probably match with other things like for example her meat outfit. She could probably wear it with that. The dress, I really love. The fabric is a little bit more flowy and lightweight. Not cheaper, but more flowy and lightweight than the pajama material. I like that this bodice has some lining on the front, which is going to help, you know, when they make thin material, thin white material, a lot of the times the skin tone shows through. Just like if I were to wear a sheer white top. Um, so it's good that they put that extra little bit of fabric in there. The fabric itself, like I said, lightweight, flowy, really good. And I love the simplicity of this pattern along with the bow that's on it. 
Next, we've got some nice basic socks. This could work for Claudia. It could work with anybody. They're just nice white socks. Can't go wrong with those. There's also a pamphlet that comes with the outfit that talks a little bit more about Claudia's story and ties the outfit into it. So you can pause to read that if you'd like. Overall, I really love this one. I think it might be my favorite out of the three that I have purchased. I love that it's something casual that she's going to be able to wear other than her me outfit, and she's probably going to be living in it most of the time. Next, I've got Claudie's winter coat, which retails for $40. And at this price, it actually does not include the tights or the shoes that are shown in the picture. Those are a part of another Claudie set. So just keep in mind, this is a three piece set. It has the hat, the coat, and the little muffs. So the first thing in here is the hat. It's made out of the same fabric as the coat itself, which is kind of like a brushed twill. I don't exactly know what fabric it is, but it's nice and thick and sturdy and soft. So it's a nice fabric, I will say. The beret looks really cute on Claudie. It's not normally a hat I would go for, but I do think these look very cute on the dolls and it looks great with this coat. The next thing is this little hand warmer muff thing. It looks like a purse though, so you could also use it as a purse because unfortunately her elbows don't bend and she can't really use this thing as intended. But this feels like and reminds me of the Janie and Jack um, faux fur coat. So that texture, if you have that. The coat itself is very sturdy. It's made of that same fabric that I just showed you on the hat, but it has a nice coat lining on the inside. On the front of it, we have this these three bead buttons. Um, they're not functioning, they're just there for decoration, but they're very cute. And then we have this gold and black trim, like ribbon detail. The pockets unfortunately don't work. They're not real pockets, decorative only. I don't like that. That's really irritating. As a human being, I really like to have my pockets. My kids like to have pockets. They're just a nice fun touch. Um, we've got the, these little pom-poms here and that same faux fur trim around the collar. Again, it's super sturdy. It, it feels quality when you're holding it. You do feel like you paid a decent amount of money for it. We do have a Velcro closure on the front, which for some reason, I don't really like that. It seems like something that would have been really fun to do actual buttons on. But again, I suppose it's made for kids. As you can see, it's got this lining on the inside. It really feels like a coat on the inside, which is really fun. It's kind of like that slick material that you normally see on the inside of a coat. And we have a little pamphlet in here, which again, I'm gonna open for you so you can pause to read if you'd like. Overall, I do really love this coat. I love the color. I think it's a lot of fun. They call it mint, but it's more of a true green than her actual mint cardigan that comes with her me outfit. She looks stunning in it, and of course, it's cloudy. She's beautiful and everything, but I do love this color on her. She looks so cute. The trim and... Um, the detailing on there are really nice, but I just don't see why it would have been so hard to put um, some tights and shoes with it for that price point, especially even if you upped it to 45 bucks, that would be a lot more reasonable it and it would make a full outfit out of it. So a little bit disappointed about that, but I'm definitely glad to have this in my collection. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching. I truly appreciate all of the support you guys have been giving me. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what your favorite piece from Claudie's collection is and if you have any recommendations on what I should get for her next. We'll chat again soon, but until then, be sure to take care of yourselves. Bye guys!